uh, now we see how to find the probability of a sentence uh, just compare these two sentences the first sentence is he is going to school uh, and the second sentence is he school is to going so the first sentence is meaningful whereas the second sentence doesn't make any sense so this sentence should have high probability of occurring and this should have very low probability of occurrence so how sh we can find the probability of a sentence uh, by using the engram models uh, first of all we use the uh, chain rule of probability that you might have studied in your uh, statistics class the chain rule says probability of n factors like x1 x2 x3 x4 and xn is equal to probability of x1 given a uh, probability of x1 into probability of x2 given previous x1 and probability of x3 previous uh, given previous x1 and x2 and then probability of x4 like here given all three uh, given previous all three factors and similarly probability of xn given all the previous factors so this is the chain rule and if we apply this chain rule on uh, on a sentence then we can write it like this that these are the words of a sentence from w1 to wn and it is a uh, uh, you can say the joint probability of all these words that that would be probability of word 1 into probability of word 2 given word 1 probability of word 3 given word 2 and 1 so on so if we apply this chain rule on the given sentence that we studied here he is going to school we will get this equation he is going to school probably of he probably of is given he and probably of going given these two letters probably of two here given all these three letters and probably of school given these four letters so here uh, we can find the joint probability of the sentence using this formula but you know here uh, we uh, we have uh, we are predicting the school word given these four letters so we are uh, looking too back uh, looking back too much so it is doesn't make much sense to go beyond uh, so many words so here we use the markov assumptions the markov assumption is a very beautiful assumption it says today is enough for predicting tomorrow so we just need to look back one word instead of going all through the sentence so if we use the markov assumptions the new formula becomes we will just look back one word and we will use a bigram model probably of is given he going given is to given going and school given to so by this model we will, we can predict the prob probability of the whole sentence and now the next is how to uh, compute these bigram probabilities for this you will have to uh, visit the next lecture.